some of the reasons why your visa is not getting approved is not because you don't know what you are doing but probably because you don't know how to put what you are doing in a more presentable way okay so in this video i'll be telling you some of the tips i use to get my vc visa approved some of the tools the websites all those things like that that literally i had to just give a command and it gave me a whole letter that i just edited and added it to it okay i'll be giving you the top tips okay i'm not a visa immigration person whatever whatever i'm just sharing my experience with you that if you find it helpful use it if you don't fine and good it's out there <laughs> so let's get started okay my previous video i was talking about the things to increase your chances like uh, um, financial proof clear clear visa um requirements all those things travel itinerary should be clear all of those things apart from those things if you have not watched the video go back and watch it okay you should watch it you should watch it it's really really helpful so um one which is probably key is probably what you use all the time okay your phone okay your phone is literally the key i remember i did all my application on my phone yeah literally i applied from my phone i didn't have a laptop or anything like that i uploaded all my documents from my phone okay and first things first if you don't have a laptop it's fine you can literally use your phone some of our phones are worth more than laptops okay so yeah i mean i have a, a, a 50 pound laptop that i use back in uni but yeah i prefer using my phone it's more easy and convenient so first things first have a good phone and it will do the job for you literally trust me it does the job and second thing which is probably something you also use but you don't see it as important is AI. Yeah, talking of AI, chat GPT. Those of you who use chat GPT for crazy things, you start using it for fun things as well. So chat GPT is probably your best friend when it comes to your visit visa year. Yeah. Because if you give it a good command, it's going to give you a good response as well. I mean it's like a search engine kind of but if you give it a good command, it's going to give you a good response. So the things you should make mention of, for example, if I want to write a travel itinerary, okay, for a 14 day um, travel, or if for a 14 day visit visa, in which will include my uh, assessment, whether it's Navy, uh, army raf whatever i'm going to write something like this write me a 14 day travel itinerary for a uk visit visa application for the royal navy the um application the assessment date should be within the last two days of the visit however make sure to include um reassuring words clarity precision um engagement and make it as convincing to the uk vi as possible also make it formal as well so like what do you see there what i just discussed that just from my head you can literally take your time and you know write the command properly and you can always edit it. So with that command, I just have to write that in ChatGPT and it's going to generate a travel itinerary for me where I just have to take that, go with it to somewhere like Microsoft Word or, or, or Docs or Document, Microsoft Document, which is like Microsoft Word basically, and edit it there, put in the date, put in the details and my own details now, and that's it. I have a travel itinerary okay and make sure when you are giving it when you are using chat gpt make sure to use a lot of adjectives okay like to really describe what you want it to do because if you don't describe it that much it's going to give you rubbish so you need to describe it as much as possible to chat gpt the second tool that i would say you need is probably 
a PDF converter. Yeah, you probably need a PDF converter. A PDF converter is not some fancy thing. You can literally download it online. Okay, you can literally download a PDF converter online. It's not difficult. A PDF converter is where you need to maybe convert your documents maybe from a word to a um pdf file okay from a word to a, to a to a pdf file so if you even if you go online and you type pdf converter or if their document is in word you can say word to pdf converter you will see a bunch of them as you can see here there are a bunch of them there are a bunch of them there are literally websites and everything here that you can use so it's those are websites those are tools you can use to help you convert those word documents that you have typed from chat gpt to pdf because on the on, on when you are submitting your applications if you are doing it online which i will recommend because it's free you will have to submit the applications in a pdf format okay so it's better you know that now so that when you do your stuff in ChatGPT with Doc with Doc or Microsoft Word, you can then take those documents, convert them to PDF, and boom, you have a PDF file that you upload. Okay, so that's uh, tool number two, PDF converter. Another thing is probably still with PDF, but PDF uh, combine. Is it combine or merge? Yeah, it's the same thing. PDF merge, it sounds more accurate. So PDF merge is literally taking different parts of or different documents which are PDF already and combining them into one PDF. Okay, let me give you a really good example, right? When you are, like one of my suggestions in some of the videos is, when you are presenting your documents for the Royal Navy, I usually say use things like your screenshots of your portal, your screenshots of your chats with your um, recruiter and all those things. So literally, if you can change those things to PDF, yeah, those pictures and whatever to PDF, you can then get those pictures and those pictures which are now PDF in your PDF format and combine them everything now into one into one chain of documents like a one long document which makes it easier for the UK VI to know what you're talking about okay rather than you up uploading uh, hundreds of documents you can literally upload about 30 of documents which literally combine everything and it also helps the UK VI to know what you are saying if you talk about um, you, um, um, Navy processes and all of those things. It literally gives like some sort of little story that flows from maybe when they started talking with your recruiter, the, the medical assessments that you have done, the eye assessments, all those things like that. It kind of gives that history to the point that you get the invitation letter. It gives that, yeah, that you are actually know what you are doing. You don't just have the invitation letter. And it's much more easier as well i mean you are not the only one that they are doing the application for there are a lot of people that they are checking the application so make yours as simple as possible so that they also can help you as well i mean if they are not sure of something they will definitely not give you that just like okay they won't give you the visa so try as much as possible to be as clear concise and compact that's why you need a pdf merge whatever it's called pdf uh, <laughs> combiner or whatever so you need that okay and another tool that you need is probably learning how to take this is not really a tool but learning how to take screenshots okay taking screenshots the screenshots that i was making mention of here is not screenshots with your phone because they will be small when you put them or when you try to combine them okay so what you can do is get a laptop learn how to use um snap which is like the version of screenshot of on, on on a pc yeah learn how to do it snap the whole um screen and then you get that and then get the picture converted to pdf then combine it now and you are done with things like 
WhatsApp messages, you can just screenshot them with your phone and use. You don't need to put them in a in a PC form. Yeah, let's see. Okay. So another tool that you need is Microsoft Word or or Google Google <laughs> Google Docs. Okay, you need Google Docs as well. Okay. So those things when I was talking of combining them, you can use Google Docs, create a doc document. And then you put those pictures there, put the pictures, write your name on that, write what, not your name, but write what is happening in the picture, like the screenshots, all those things. You combine them on a A4. Remember, you can put four images on an A4 paper. So literally, when you open a doc document, it's in an A4 paper, so you can put four images in it. So yeah, you can use that, combine the pictures, put four images, boom, convert it to pdf and there you have your pdf another document or, or another tool that you can use to do this is canva okay canva is for free it's a design website you can use it to design things but also you can use it to edit things as well like those screenshots you can put them there make it a little bit more presentable and all of that and write properly there and all of those things so you can use Canva for all of those things like that. So if you do have any questions, any clarifications or anything like that, let me know in the comment section and I'll do my best to help you out. Okay. Cheers for watching and see you on the next video.